Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Amazon Quad Duty Console summary view and how it can enhance your experience in viewing Quad Duty findings. The summary page provides you with a detailed overview of your findings, including findings based on severity, the most common finding types, and accounts and resources with most findings in a single page, which can help you to identify, prioritize, and take action on risks more efficiently. Let's go to the Amazon God Duty Console. To get started, I will select the Amazon God Duty service from AWS Console. When you select God Duty in the AWS Console, you are presented with this summary page. The summary dashboard provides an aggregated view of up to the last 10,000 God Duty findings generated in your AWS account in the current region. If you are operating in a multi-account environment, this summary page consolidates findings from across the organization and helps you to more quickly identify top impacted accounts. By default, the summary gets displayed for the last two days. The Guard Duty Console provides an option to view the summary for the same day, the last two days, last seven days, and last 30 days. To change the default time range, choose one of the options from the dropdown above the overview pane. For the time ranges, last seven days and last 30 days, the overview pane may show the percentage difference in the findings generated week over week or month over month respectively. If no findings were generated in the week or the month before, then with no data to compare, the percentage difference may not be available. If you are a guard duty administrator, all of these fields provide the summarized data across all the member accounts in your AWS organization. A member account can view the details of the potentially impacted resource that belongs to their own account. If you are a guard duty administrator and wants to view the details of the potentially impacted resource, open the guard duty console using the credentials of the associated member account. The overview section indicates the total number of findings generated in your account in the current region, the number of guard duty findings that have a high severity level in the current region, the number of resources that are associated to a finding and have been potentially compromised, and the number of accounts in which at least one finding was generated. If you are a standalone account, the value in this field is one. Findings by severity is presented in a graphical format, making it easier to determine how many of those findings are of high, medium, or low severity. And the most common finding types are represented with a pie chart. You can select any of these common types for additional details such as finding count and finding percentage with the last time the finding was generated. The count with most findings, resources with most findings, and least occurring findings widgets help you filter the data on the basis of the level of severity of the findings. The account with most findings section indicates the AWS account ID where the finding was generated, the number of times a finding was generated for this account ID, how much time it has passed since a finding type was last generated for this account ID and the severity level of the finding. Once you select the finding severity to further investigate, you can click on the finding count. This will take you to the page with the finding details so you can investigate them further. The resources with most finding widgets help you filter the data on the basis of your potentially impacted resource type. You also have the option to assess findings by resources with most findings and ascertain the number of findings related to those resources. For example, this instant ID currently has this many number of findings. Here, you can click on the finding count and it will take you to those findings in the finding page. Here, you also have option of selecting your resource type. For example, uh, 
the instance, access key, lambda, S3 bucket, and so on. Once you select your resource type, you can filter by severity type and use the view all findings option to navigate to the finding page where you can work with all of these findings. Least occurring findings gives you the insight into infrequent high or medium severity findings that may indicate an emerging threat in your environment. Once you select the severity type, you will be able to see the finding type, finding count, as well as when the last finding for this finding type was generated. Use view all high severity findings to quickly navigate directly to the findings page to display all the findings with high sensitivity and determine what remediation actions to take. And that's it. You learned how the God Duty Summary View aggregates various types of findings and helps you uncover further details to simplify remediation efforts. To learn more about God Duty findings, please visit the God Duty Summary documentation link provided here. Thank you.